Hello crafty friends, welcome to the second video in this series in which I'm using a very simple tag die to create lots of different cards. For my card today I'm going to do some smushing on mixed media paper and I have some green blue inks from the Catherine Pooler party collection. The first one I smushed down is the very lightest, I think this one's called Mint to Be. And I smushed it all over two pieces of mixed media paper, which I'm holding still with a grip mat. If you want to know how to make and use a smusher, there is a playlist of smusher videos linked above in the eye and down below in the video description. Once I dried that first colour with my hair dryer, I went in with the middle colour, the middle saturation. This one's called Aquatini. And I smushed this all over, but I made sure that I could still see some of that lighter green in the gaps. And finally, I smushed on the very darkest colour. I think this one's called Uptown. And I was very careful about how I put this on because it's so dark that I thought it would very easily obscure the lighter colours beneath it. Once that was dry, I bought out the Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Dust. It's a white one and added it to the leftover ink, mixed in with a bit more water and spattered it on. And that gave me some lovely, shiny, shimmery splatters on top of my coloured ink smushing. Next, I cut the pieces of paper up so that I could run them through my Gemini mini die cutting machine with the tag die. And I ended up with six tags. My idea for this card was to use the smushed tags to create a background pattern piece of paper. So I took a square of white cardstock, I think it was about six by six inches, and then glued my tags on so they more or less filled up the whole of the piece of paper and I did it in a kind of grid fashion but with the tags pointing in different directions but I wanted to get similar size gaps between the tags so that uh, it looked kind of regular and purposeful. Once I'd glued all six tags down, I used some scissors to cut off the overhanging bits and then I added them back onto the paper to fill it up as much as I possibly could. I then brought in a square die and placed this on top of my tags to cut them out at a bit of a jaunty angle. I stuck that down with a bit of washi tape and then ran it through my Cuttlebug die cutting machine and I ended up with a lovely square filled with my smushed tags. I wanted to give this square a matte, so I took Uptown, I think it was, the darkest of the colours, and just added some ink in a square shape to a piece of white cardstock. And this is going to act as my matte. So I just glued it down with a bit of high tack glue and then trimmed it with my trimmer. I could have used one of the larger square dies, but my trimmer was to hand, so I just grabbed that. To make the edges of my mat look as if they'd been die cut, I got my embossing tool and just ran it down the edge of the mat and that beveled the edges and gave it that curvy die cut look. I then used tape runner to attach this panel to the front of my card. You might notice looking at this that there isn't a lot of white space. For a lot of people, having lots of white space is what makes a clean and simple card clean and simple. And normally, I go for lots of white space on my card, but today I didn't. But I do feel this card still has a clean and simple vibe to it. It's not overly complicated. 
So I'd be interested to know your opinion on the matter. What is it that makes a clean and simple card clean and simple for you? Do let me know in the comments. So the next thing I did was use another square die to cut a square of vellum and I'm going to put this in the middle of my card just to mute down the smush tags a little bit. I think that helps with the clean and simple look too. For my sentiment I'm using a happy birthday stamp that I heat embossed in gold. I then used the coordinating die to cut it out. I did pop a bit of deli paper in with the die when I run it through the machine just to protect the embossing from the scratches on the cutting plate. I then added craft foam to the back of the sentiment because I wanted it to be raised up a bit. And then I used one of my plain uncolored tags and added that at a jaunty angle to the piece of vellum, the square piece of vellum. I then put glue on the back where it wouldn't be seen and centered that vellum in the middle of my panel. I used my T-square ruler to make sure my sentiment was straight and added it on the craft foam to the tag. And I should have done this next bit first and that was to thread some embroidery thread through the hole in the tag. But I did just about manage to do it without making a mess using my tweezers. And as a finishing touch I added Nouveau Drops in pale gold just around that happy birthday sentiment to draw the eye to the middle. And that's it, that is card two made with this very basic simple tag die. I hope you've enjoyed the video and maybe it's given you some ideas of things you can do with similar dies in your stash. If it has, please do let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more from me, including the rest of this series, then do subscribe and ring the notification bell and I will see you back here very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.